good morning, and welcome back to the Avid Umbrella. Well, here we are, June 1st. We know that this school year has not been easy. There were significant changes to what was our normal, and you were definitely expected to become more responsible in terms of your own learning. And now as summer is approaching, it's the perfect time to assess our learning. I mean, we, the adults, we look at you and realize you aren't the same kids that started with us in September. You're a couple inches taller, you have a different haircut, your style has changed a little, and you've grown into yourself just a bit more. And you've learned. You're reading at a higher grade level, and you can speak with confidence that you maybe didn't have in August. You have grown and are different, and you have definitely had the lessons to help you to advance via individual determination. Let's think back on some of the lessons shared with you this year through the AVID umbrella. You learned the skills necessary to deal with change and how to take personal responsibility with email, your grades, and being a good citizen of our school and community. We talked of goal setting, positive self-image and confidence, and the importance of having a growth mindset. We learned of cultural traditions, the power of kindness, the importance of self-care, how to use music, the outdoors, and reflection to soothe the soul. We became educated in black history, career options, and took civic action in your passion to open a skate park. We learned to practice gratitude, to be smart with our social media accounts, and to greet each other with caring and respect. These lessons partnered with the tremendous teaching and learning that has happened in the classrooms has most definitely prepared you to move ahead. You have learned and grown so much. It is up to you to take what you have learned and to use it in becoming your best, most successful self. I know the next school year is the last thing you want to think about, but ignoring it will set you up for an unpleasant reality check come September. If your summer consists entirely of just watching TV, sleeping in, hanging out, the things you have learned and the qualities needed to retain learning, like concentration and critical thinking, they're probably going to get weak. Your mind needs to be exercised or it will be harder to use it effectively once school starts again. So let's hit it with one last list of activities that are excellent for keeping you and your mind at its best throughout the summer. Once summer hits, you should relax. That's right. As unexpected as it sounds when the goal is keeping your brain active, actually maintaining good habits works best when you take a little break from what you do at school. I mean, I'm not saying sleep all day, friends. No way but you need to give yourself some time off so that you will be feeling fresh when school starts again. Spend your time doing something fun. Hang out with friends, spend time outside. Just do something that helps you chill. Another thing you can do to stick, keep your brain active in the summer is to work. Yes, many of you are not old enough to get a real job, but there are plenty of jobs around your homes and neighborhoods. You can organize, clean up around the house, Take leadership in planting a, um, a community garden. Maintain the garden. Help a neighbor or family member care for young children. Work on something that helps your brain to stay alert and you can accomplish things. And that will feel so good. Something else you can do this summer to keep your brain alert is to learn something. Saying that learning something helps you to stay in the routine of learning sounds so obvious, but it's also true. Learning over the summer doesn't have to be a major investment of time, money, or brain power. Like you don't need summer school like academic classes. Although friends, you should be on alert from notices from our school about some enrichment opportunities for you. But there's also things you can check out, like the YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club, Lunch Break, the Red Bank Public Library, and the Red Bank Parks and Rec for some cool class offerings that are interesting and fun. You've always wanted to learn a new skill. Summer vacation might just be your opportunity. Another thing you can do this summer to keep your brain moving is practice. Because reading and writing are the foundations of learning, it's a good idea to continue doing them on a part-time basis over the summer. It prevents you from going through a period of readjustment, however short, when you get back to school. Practice however and whatever you can. Ask your teachers now for leftover handouts workbooks, novels. That way you have materials at your home. Also, summer is the time to maintain your writing skills by keeping a journal. Friends, I have said journal at least 10 times in Avid Umbrellas. 
A journal is a place where you can write on any topic that catches your attention. Journal entries can be to-do lists, quotes from a favorite book or song, ideas for making the world a better place. I have plenty of journals to share with you. If interested, stop by room 217. And lastly, a good way to keep your brain moving throughout the summer is to solve something. Use your brain. Experts say solving puzzles is an excellent way to take a break from schoolwork, but still exercise your mind. You can also find crossword puzzles and word finds in the newspaper and great books of puzzles and mind stretchers at the dollar store. So that's it for today, friends. Hopefully you will give these activities a try. It's great to keep your mind moving and to have a little fun. Stay well and remember, even in the summer, the Avid Umbrella has got you covered. Have a great day.